to most of us, what missions means is playing Christian tennis. I'll come preach at your church, and maybe you come preach at my church, and we'll get everybody excited about we're reaching the world. And really, we're not reaching the world. We're just trading sanctuaries. No, nothing's really happening in the grid of society. But when we took our members... Our members have relationships with people that lived in Bethlehem, the city that Jesus was born. I was excited about that. They were excited about that. They began to understand the unique social challenges, the unique day-to-day life challenges there in ways I didn't. And by the way, they even were able to have Jesus conversations for those that did not know him because just everyday people having everyday life conversations. But what got us there was the, the educational background and the professional experience that they had gave Gave us relevance, not coming to preach about Jesus, but meeting people that were in love with Jesus. So it's not as difficult as you might envision that it would be. I think some of the things that we have to do, I love what Chris's remark was that strategy is revealed through relationship for me. My connection to Bob, my connection to some of the other people within GlocalNet began to be a paradigm shift with me and began to show me that what if the church, you've heard Bob say, if you've been around, what if the church were the missionary? <laughs> 